Pai, what are you saying? Yes, sir. You give thanks for life, you know? No, nah, serious thing. We are here again, Ballhead and the Dread Podcast. First, I want to say, give thanks for everyone been supporting the thing from those times till now. And also, Conscious T, Marcus Garvey shirt right here. If you don't have it, make sure you get it. We have a, a, a tough John Henry Clark shirt coming out. One, one sick Thomas Sinkara thing, almost ready for press. So make sure you check it out. Naya Bingy's back in stock. Respect to everybody has been supporting the thing and purchasing the thing. Conscious T K O N C I U U S T dot com. Farai Artarchi EP there in the description, disrupting the status quo. Also link there for the right. video. Freedom in Africa. Um, but one more thing I have to let the people know we are on the air every Sunday on WLOI.org playing roots, rock, reggae music, uh, vintage and modern. So make sure you check us there. Far right, what we reasoning about today? Yes, sir. Well, today we are reasoning about a whole heap of self-help book where we say I flood the market and we really are discuss if it really are help the people them and 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 the strategy we we ones and ones need to look into for even help themselves at that, you know. Far right, that's a good topic, right? And before <laughs> before you even start, I want to ask you a question before you even start, before I say anything. I'm not sure if you've read any self-help books. I personally have read some in the past, right? Do you think self-help books help? Well, it depends upon the individual and where I seek out of the book still, because I always tell people say books very important to get knowledge, but how much it relates to you and how much action you as individual really want to take the same way. But I realize a lot of people when them build them type of self help book, yeah, them, them, them build it as the ultimate solution, solution base. And then when they really see it, I fulfill the purpose there. As in, you don't know, now, and a man can't create a solution for you per se as an individual. But that's the way how them really market it still. But for me personally, my mentality kind of in a different type of realm. When we read, we just read, forget knowledge and certain things like that, same way. But not from the perspective there. <laughs> No, reality men's in. I feel that the self-help vibe, right? And this is in my exposure to people now. So I haven't done a study or, you know, it's the people I've been exposed to. But it seems like, I don't know. It seems like people feel like they're doing something by acquiring information, but not applying it. So I think by acquiring information, they feel they're achieving the goal. So I don't know if it's some like sick, demented avoidance still. Because they're not necessarily doing what they set out to do, but because they're doing something, it also gives them a fulfillment of achievement. But they haven't achieved anything outside of reading the book. When they acquire all this information, all the tactics, it's rarely applied, specifically when it comes to weight loss fire. Everyone knows that, or if you don't know, I'll let you know. Uh, last time I checked, I think it's about, all right, I could tell you this. <clears throat> I think people who start a plant-based diet or you want to say a vegan diet, I think it's like 98 to 99% of people fail, right? With the weight loss thing now, I think it's like 94% of people that even lose weight. And we're not talking about those who lose weight and, and gain it back. So all these things, like it, 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 it doesn't work. And I think one of the main reasons it doesn't work is the unrealistic expectations of the self-help book. When they give an example, of fire, they always give an example of the most extreme form of success. They're not using like <laughs> they're not using the most common man. They always they always use some unique figure that may have a, a inhumane level of resilience, inhumane work ethic, or other characteristics that you yourself just don't have. So I think that's an issue in a sense. A person who's been Let's just say mediocre, and we don't mean it in a negative way. We mean in regards to actually how you've been conducting yourself in a mediocre manner. That person isn't going to switch to be some great achiever based on the book. Because you have to go through a process of kind of weaning yourself off of mediocrity. And having small achievements and moving forward like that far right. And another thing, too, with this book... <laughs> Hold on, fire. I don't want to cut the argument, but I know I'm going to talk and I'm going to forget. 
there is one book I want to recommend, right? And this isn't the order of the reason, but I know I'm going to forget. There's one book I want to recommend for every black man. And to me, this is the only motivation book you should be reading. It's Message to the People by Marcus Garvey Farr. This book here, when I'm saying the man give you the blueprint and give you the outline how to get yourself together, you do have to apply it, though. Right. I'm not saying if you read it, oh, yeah, life is going to be on the heights, but it gives you realistic, universal things that is applicable to all people, especially for black men. So that's my PSA in between. Uh, make sure you purchase. Um, it's not circulating that much. So when you do find it, it may be a little expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth the investment. Message to the people by Marcus Garvey. All right. Um, what's another thing I want to talk about with this self-help thing? Oh, yeah. Um, in regards to the unrealistic goals, right? And there's another aspect too that we're leaving out of self-help is that, as you mentioned earlier, all right, they're selling books. <laughs> I think I think people need the whole economic aspect out of it because these people who are telling you what to do, their livelihood is based on you purchasing their product. And I can't say all, but I've looked into some and they haven't been successful outside of selling books. So I I don't know if they're a good teacher or a good instructor for success because the success that they have is based on you buying that they're buying their product. And all reality is not necessarily the best product. One more thing I want to add far right, right? Is that um just like music we spoke about, unfortunately, there are good self-help books out there, but they're not the popular ones, right? And as we know already, uh, popularity does not mean quality. But unfortunately, when people get into the uh, the machine and they're pumping out certain things, um, you know, through uh, advertising and, and branding and, and uh, you know, it's on Oprah and all that vibe. So if you can say Oprah, say it's on the heights, I must read it. But it's not really doing anything for you. So I got to say it again, and I have no affiliation with it. This is just coming from my heart for those I love out there. <laughs> Marcus Garvey. Message to the people, fire. Get this book and read it and read it and apply it. This bridge in here when he break down the thing, yo. I'm telling you, man, this one here is a great book. Not a famous book, right? Because most people, when we deal with Marcus Garvey's uh, philosophy and opinions, this one here, message to the people, I guarantee you won't go wrong. Serious thing, you know? I should have thought, man, a powerful, it's a powerful word sound and it's, a, it's almost like a, like a guiding tool. Eh? But, you know, something I've said, though, like recently, what I feel like in regards, if, if I want to come up with a self-help book, it have to have some form of, when, there is an application, but we're talking about where one's a fair thing on the spot. So, like we recently, we interviewed um, O'Neill Peart and um, Dr. Trisha, um, Tanisha Clark. Clark, they have right. a book, the book called What About Me? So it's like when you read a book like that now, and you actually, at the end of every chapter, it actually have a journaling section, and you go through now, and you tell your interpretation of what is presented to you, and you can actually have, you actually have to think about the thing, and it's just a like, yeah, application, application, right after every chapter. So it's a book like them that will come with a journal type, German journal type of stance, it, it it have a full 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 purpose because it a teacher lesson objectively and then on a subjective level now you can put it into perspective. So book like that now, it's a book where I tell people so they need forget if they want to improve themselves and don't know if to talk about mental health and you don't know if you really want to choose self help, you have to really start from a whole mental standpoint. But something else I really want to mention to you know say talking about this topic of self help, one reason is one reason why religion become a turn off for me from an early point still. Because the Bible itself, the way it did presented, it did presented to me as a juvenile. And even growing up and reading it like around three times over, make get to realize say, them are presented as an ultimate self help book. I mean I said to myself, say, me not feel like so no one book can really help me for my journey, cause my journey evolve it or grow. So the the thing that me really want for doing a life, I'm really want to learn. I really want to know. I really want to apply. That can't be in a one book. So sometimes I feel like people are, is this savior complex. I said, call something like them just a look for this savior. So when time a book marketed from the way they know, the people them say, all right, this is a new savior now. Once me read this, it will heal me, it will solve me, and then make can move on to the next. But when I realize, say, sometimes we just a look beyond, we own a self fire, and that's the thing, you know. 
you can't get no help if you look behind yourself. So you have to really tap into your knowledge and know. Where me know which part of my day in my life. Where me can add to my experiences, so to speak. It's me I say, oh, me can develop beyond that. But the thing is, not people just not realistic with themselves. They don't really want to tell themselves, you know, some are not good enough that. Because if they tell themselves that they're not good in a particular area, it's almost like it makes them become this bottom of the barrel individual. I'm going to really overstand that. No, in reality, man. And Fire, you brought up a great point I want to talk about more in regards to evolving, right? So, um, obviously, certain things are written in certain space and time, and it can't transfer specifically religion and if you want to learn about more a lot more about that read a book called god is red and they speak about why their specific locations are so unique in their spiritual experiences and religion can't really travel to a certain extent and there's a lot of truth in it in your daily life that's why christianity or islam and these things don't capture people in a different space and time right now in regards to evolving so say we're in uh early 20th century, right? Where opportunities are scarce, we're given an opportunity. Um, we would neglect everything to pursue something. Now, people may do this in this time, but another person may not pursue it because he wants to balance family life and uh, occupation or income, whatever you want to say. Therefore, that message of just knocking off everything and pursuing that won't necessarily apply. Different space and time and different uh, view of life another thing i wanted to bring up too is the whole the main point that's leaving or the main part that's leaving from the self-help book is actually doing that's, 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 the, most, right, that's, that's the most important part you know because i can say in my experience again right as i said i didn't do no studies i'm just saying and and and, and i have a, a broad experience but I always see these people with, I remember Michelle Obama book, you know, uh, Shaq, all these books that come out, people always walking with the books. Right? They always got this book. Well, when you observe, nothing has changed in their life. So it's almost like it's trending to read these books or it's a cool thing to read these books. I don't know if they have book clubs and that type of vibe, but the application, the consistency, which we speak about all the time, is lacking and missing. And I think people and the successful people that I know, uh, this is a point I want to make too far. Listen to this. The people that I know have done very well for themselves in their craft or whatever. I don't, they never spoke to me about doing no self-help book. Now they may have taken a class to learn a skill. See the difference now, fire. They may have uh, did something or read something and enhanced their skill, but not necessarily for motivation. And I've been fortunate to be around a lot of People who do very well have done great things. And uh, the motivation has not come from external forces, but more internal. And I think maybe that's the savior complex you're referring to early in regards to that. But yeah, I don't really know them people get no self-help vibe. It's more if they took a course or read something was about a particular task that they wanted to complete in regards to gaining skill. But all my self-help junkies out there, if I got to let you know, say, yo, at some point, you got to become realistic with yourself. You're constantly purchasing these things, going to these conferences. That's a big fight. That's a big hustle. People going to these conferences. They're going to all these meetings and nothing is changing. It's like people that have been going to church for 20 years and nothing is changing. It's the same vibe. It's almost like, like it's almost like it's a resume. It's a resume. Mr. Ones and ones are built up. It, it's the way it seemed like to me. And it's like, like when I want to apply for a job and them have to put them resume together. Some of see like people are say, all right, all them better themselves is I've been to this, I've read this. So now whenever the conversation come up, or you know, anybody refer to something where, where something where can help themselves or things like that. Now you see people start say, Oh, I did this, I went to this conference, I read this book. So you see, it's really for I really feel like it's a thing where it boosts the ego per se. Cause it all boils long to mindset in a fire. Well, while, while me and you could have read them same book, then you know, we see some things out tight. And we say, you know, say, I love the little story. Yeah. It inspires you and I. Because I see some things and me, I say, oh, a man deal with this the way. Yeah. That means that the power and the potential in me, if you deal with it the way, they are deal with it even better. But most people don't really see certain things as just inspiration. Them, it's like them block off themselves and say, all right, I can't do nothing. Anybody who present this book or present this information in front of me is like a deity. Them do something where 
unheard of, unheard of from what my potential is. See, so because for them level outside of my potential, whatever them put towards me is like a God level type of business. And all them process it, it just it so comes now, it end up now have nothing to do with them benefit. And then it just like it just boosts them ego for say out. Me did read this you know, because where you say Shaq did write this or Oprah did recommend this. And remember said them people from them recommend certain things. Oh, 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 we are question it. Or we are question it when them big shot people are recommend something until we say oh, this we for do. So them say them do that. So them can talk in you know, the discussion and things. So it's more like an ego driven thing. We once and once just want to build up a little resume if you say, all right, we did do them. Just like a man go get a degree. A degree not really give them no particular salary salary. You know, it, them for them I make minimum wage same way for the, the bachelor's and master's degree. But at the full of the day, once can say, Oh, me did have a degree. And the degree they come like it speak volumes already. People respect you more. A man go out there and make more money than you. But but it's not about the money where Emma make it. The fact say so you did go to school, adhere to these rules and finish with that particular grade to get that paper. So people will respect that more than a man will apply himself and go learn all him trade and build up him things. So some really enough of them things, yeah, it boils down to the mindset and the way of the people them get ego driven. Yeah. And, and and dealing with the ego, the industry seems to be very racist and sexist because majority of these books are written by men. I remember reading the exact numbers, over 90, right? And particularly white men. But the reason I bring up the racism is that the concepts that they have are universal concepts, right? But if it, the, the concept is brought to you from someone from a different culture, you disregard it. Something simple in regards to saying, yo, uh, you are your thoughts. Any coach, you, any fire, any <laughs> any mystic, in any coach you're going to say the same thing. Yeah. So it's not no unique thing, but from a white man said to carry a vibe. It's just the truth, you know? So it's like, it, it kind of, it's a tricky thing. It's still had that white dominance in there in regards to who's giving you the message. Because they must be reading, some of these people must just be reading the most basic mystic book fight, and it's just the basic concept. Because the whole book could be trash, and they had that one part in there, that's what people sit on. I'm lying, fire. That's true, straight fuck, but who say it in the fire is not what is said in the right. boy, but then, no, it's, it's not what is said, it's who say it in the right. No, a serious thing, and I pre it, but I don't know, man. All I can say with the self help self help book is that if you already have them already, you don't need to buy no more. Fire. Ain't nobody saying nothing new. It's but so much universal laws on earth. You get what I'm saying? And they hear, and I don't see no new ones coming to be the truth because they just hear, right? And the main thing is to just work. Work with consistency, fire. You know, it's too much intensity. We need more consistency. And the next thing, too, stop telling everybody what you're doing. You know, stop posting all your little thing. With... All right, you know, most of them flopping out themselves with all this sharing, all this when they do two things, you know, going to the gym and all this craziness, you know. Just focus on what you're doing and do your thing. Because what happened is you're doing it for attention. And when the attention wane off now, your motivation wane off, and you find yourself back at square one. You got to figure out some way to motivate yourself. You got to figure out some way to get yourself going that can be consistent. You don't want to go up like this and come back down like this. You're going to be in the same boat. And if you have motivation books already, take two quotes out of there. <clears throat> take two principles. Take two principles out of there and actually apply it and hold yourself accountable to do it, say, for three months, for six months, up to a year. You know, and if you don't have a motivational book, <laughs> All right, if you don't have no motivational book, you'll make sure you get this one. I can't recommend this enough. We'll put a link here too because the book not circulating like that. Man. But the thing, thing on the heights, yeah. Believe you me. A great work by the Bridger Marcus Garvey. But um, yeah, with the with the motivational vibe, I just recommend that you um ease off of it. Um, if you've gone to a conference and it's changed your life, bless up to you. But the average person, that is not the case. You can save your money and just put some work in, you know. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> you can't mimic a next man experience, too. I think that's the thing that messes up the uniqueness of people. The uniqueness of people, their personality, and they just experience in life. Because we can have 10 people lined up and, and give them the resources to do the same exact thing. You're not going to have the, the same 10 outcomes. It's just not going to happen. There are too many different factors 
that go into play in regards to people's lives. And I think they're trying to present this cook. Well, you say cookie cutter vibe in the sense that if you do this, you'll have that outcome. And it's just not the case. What if a man destined to do something then, and you're not destined to do it? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? We got to factor these things in, yeah? But what if a man here for a particular purpose and she here for a particular purpose? You can mimic all you want to do, but if that person here for a purpose, certain things going to work out for that person. If you're on those type of height, some people think people not here for a purpose. But everything everything is unique. Every person is special and unique. And their journey is different. So you can't really mimic a person's journey. And I think that's the crime of self-help books. I know so I don't want I don't want to get 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 the, the, the genuine people them. I don't want genuine people them get lost in a in in a the reason they need that to you know because I know say out there. Just like enough money that say, oh them nah, you know, roots music, no real reggae music, no they there. But it out there, you know. As with that, it's that say enough of them now get an advertisement in certain way. But you say enough of them, if ones and ones out there, most genuine will push some motivation and some self-help type of books still and people will get up and get up and, and say, right, you know, some really want two people learn from the book and help themselves for real. So a whole heap of people must out there will do that at the same time too, you know. And then and on top of that, I know there are some genuine people who is like lit literature heads. So you know, you know them people them love to read books like they are them same way. And that is for them particular genre of book too. We, 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 we keep them certain we like how some people have comics some people have different genre with them into so we really want want to pile up them type of people we really want to make it very clear say it's not them type of people the ones really really go after a certain way because sometimes some people listen to the reasoning holistically and them not really really see the fine-tuned piece the way ones are saying you know, i feel like them get caught up in it too so when you really want to separate the thing from them type of people, I talk about the people them now who have, now have no application. That really has stress span. Who now no application? That way has stress span for you. They are them for no say, oh, there's one leap away for better yourself. But you can't, as they say, you can't even mimic no man thing. You just have to get an inspiration of some different thing for you. And if you are reading them type of thing, you have to get an inspiration. When I say inspiration, I mean, I talk about for Ela man for a bigger God, God status, you know, because I realize that that's the real deal, you know, for say, yo, Jordan, Michael Jordan, did, yo, the man, I'm a G, when you go up on a corner, you, start, you can't talk everything about Michael Jordan because you did read him book and you tell well, him tell about when he did shift left and when he did shift right and him shifting left and right make him win the ring so your things are right when you go up on the street they can shift left and shift right and it now got no benefit for you. So at them type of meds that we are trying to show ones and ones, God, I really see a lot of people, yeah, fire this talking thing is a serious thing, you know, because a lot of people always want to talk, but it's like them, them don't really have much to say when them talk. So them try to dig out certain different sources to get talking points from. And that must take place enough of them self help and motivational book. Yeah. Digging some talking points from this book. Oh, when we talk it, and, and it's like a plagiarism thing I go on to call them conversations. End up through most man not even a read all the book overall. The fact that them go read a self help and motivational book when them go up on a corner, even though them not make no progress with for them life, man have them as being deep and have them as somebody who very intellectual. You know, when them not really have an application, them just have a look at talking point off of what them read from somebody who did successful. Our reality meds, fine. We give thanks for that. <laughs> we give thanks for the clarification, you know regurgitation will run the nation right now fam because it's just pure whatever they hear they just spit back out they don't even analyze it themselves you know but when you're amongst the ignorant you look smart because they don't know nothing so you can get through with that you know and too much as i said too much talking and not enough work <clears throat> and i think right now fire is work time you know and myself and fire i work so we could talk and we could come here and share experiences because we work, you know? So um, I just encourage everyone to get on top of something. And also fire. I want to do a reason on purpose too, but you need to find a purpose because I remember one time in my life. Yes. I was highly successful in, in, the, in the, uh, according to American standards, but I didn't have a purpose. And you need a purpose. Like you really need us as a man. You need a purpose out here. Fire. You need a reason to wake up and endure everything for that particular purpose. And you'll be way better off instead of you just out here 
Got a thing rough and dread. And you need something to keep you firm and keep you focused and keep you going. So we need to touch on the importance of uh, purpose. If you have purpose, then you may want to touch your self-help for a little motivation here and there, but you're not really dependent on it. You know? So we give thanks for everyone listening. Same way, tell you the truth. Make sure you support us at ConsciousT.com. Uh, make sure you support Far if you didn't get the EP already. Anyone new, our Tarchi is a reggae artist. Support the Bridget. His EP there is in the description. Also, his latest video uh, is also in the Freedom description. Freedom in Africa. Freedom yes, in sir. Africa. Make sure you support that. Uh, we are spinning on Sundays, WLOI.org. I never knew radio. Your host, Junior, a.k.a. The Ballhead. Roots Rock Reggae Music. What a vibe. 9 to 11 every Sunday. Uh, Wednesdays, 8 to 10. And Thursdays, 10 to noon Eastern Standard Time. WLOI.org.